The new director of animal care and control has been on the job for almost a month now and knows that there is progress to be made. Yeah, in fact, he came to the organization during a very rocky time. Many saying the shelter is simply underfunded and understaffed. Eyewitness News reporter Naomi Peskovitz explains the challenges and the progress so far. Wrapping up his fourth week on the job, the new director says one of the biggest challenges is the budget. The shelter is still waiting to see if the City County Council will grant their request for $500,000 this fiscal year. Hundreds of pounds of donated food and supplies will make a difference for Indianapolis Animal Care and Control. Harrison College vet tech student Jamie Schmidt hopes her collection drive can help. It's heartbreaking. I mean, Indianapolis has so many animals that need help and they need love. The shelter's new director, Dennis Pappenmeyer, says the call is always out for more people like Jamie. There's probably not a day that goes by that something heroic doesn't happen here. But they also need money. A city county council committee's decision on half a million dollars in funding has now been postponed for several weeks. It was a, a bit bittersweet. It was gratifying that that uh, that I was so well received by the council, uh, but it was but it was also just a little frustrating uh, uh, and a little disappointing that that they decided to postpone it until uh, until uh, February 18th. If their proposal passes a committee in February, the full council could decide by March. And Pappenmeyer hopes to use the money to attract a full-time vet and fully stock the pantry. That money will give us the opportunity to, to provide a consistent uh, food source for all of the animals. So until that vote later this year, it's up to people like Jamie Schmidt to fill in. This is our shelter. It's your shelter. It's my shelter. It's their shelter. Uh, so, so we want to, to give them the opportunity to take a part in its success. That's what we're all about. This weekend, the shelter will be relying even more on the public's support. Saturday is National Change a Pet's Life Day, so anyone that comes here will find one of these to make a donation. On the southwest side, Naomi Peskovitz, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.